but the the coin shops and the businesses that have been around for years right you can probably pretty much rest assured that they're not in the habit of ripping people off right and that doesn't mean that there aren't some really good quality uh new players in the business as well but um uh you know i think that it 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 it, it remains the res responsibility of the individual of the seller to go out and shop around before they sell <music>So you find yourself in a situation where you need some cash. What are you going to do? Maybe you've had some silver ounces sitting around, maybe an ounce of gold, but you need to convert your metal into some cash. Maybe it's a car repair, a plumbing repair. Maybe it's a fancy date with a new girlfriend or boyfriend. Nonetheless, what types of options do you have for converting your metal into some cold, hard cash? Today, we are privileged to be joined by Coin Shop Chris. He knows a thing or two about how to convert metals into cash, and he's going to share with us some of his thoughts. Chris, welcome to Ron's Basement. Always good to be back, Ron. I uh, always enjoy coming on your channel. Well, you know you're always welcome here, and you're definitely a fan favorite. So, what are what are my options if I need to raise some cash? If I need to convert, you know, this into some into some fiat, which I'm going to spend immediately because I don't want to hold on to that paper money. We know that. What what kind of options do I have, Chris? Well, before we go into that, I'd just like everybody to like, share, and subscribe, and let's get this information out. All well, the options we have, Ron, you could sell it right out outright um, to a coin shop. You sell on eBay, sell at a free market. That's fine. But let's say you don't want to sell your stuff. You know, you just want you just want a loan on it. A, you can ask a family member. Um, you actually brought up that point. Um, friends, family members say, "Hey, look, I got a uh, five Surrey Eagles that are worth what 150 bucks, let's say." Um, maybe a little bit more. Can you loan me a uh, hundred bucks until I get this paid off? You might be able to get that paid off in a month or two. You get your silver back. You get your gold back if, if it's gold, if it's a bigger, you know, item. So you need um, to have a, you need to have a family member with some money, right? Exactly. <laughs> but explain I mean, to them, maybe explain to them that, Hey, look, here's the price of silver. Here's five ounces. This is worth $150. You can hold the silver, and and I'm just asking you for a hundred dollars. And uh, when I bring you the hundred dollars back in two weeks or a week, uh, you can give me the silver back. Right? Is that does that, that sound plausible? That's a good way to. That's an excellent way to do it without getting any fees. Mm -hmm. um, another option is, you know, people say pawn shops will rip you off. Well, that may be true. May not be true. Just keep in mind, pawn shops are not going to give you a fair value. It, it's a loan. So let's say you brought in a whole tube of survey eagles. What, we're right around 840 bucks, 860 bucks or so for the tube. Pawn shop may offer you 400 bucks and they're going to charge you a, a interest rate, APR interest rate of 9, 10%, maybe even 11 cents, may even be more. Who? Who knows if you can afford to pay that fee back and get if they give you four hundred dollars and that's all you need it actually was four hundred bucks and you pay that little fee, you get your item back if you're gonna pay the pawn shop back. If not, the pawn shop's gonna make out. You never show back up. Yeah, the pawn shop's going to make out. Right, right. Um, as on, long on as you as, as long as you get back there and get get pay them back and get your get your metal back <laughs> right <laughs> otherwise it, you're going to wind up uh, on the short end of that stick it, exactly i mean you you know i i see people come in and and they and they say they don't want to really sell but they need the money right sometimes you tell them you know you have another option going to a point and we explain it to them they're not we're not they're not going to give you what we're offering you for you if you don't want to sell it and you only need xyz only sell what you know if you're going to sell outright 
and buy it back later or buy something else back later, fine. Don't bring in more than you need for the mm -hmm. cash flow. Right. I mean, the, the, the family member is the best way to go. I mean, if you have a family member, a friend, that's the best way, Ron. That is really the best way. First Mining Gold is a development company advancing two of the largest gold projects in Canada, Spring Pole in Ontario and Du Parquet, located in Quebec. Each already has 5 million ounces of gold reserves, but exploration initiatives are underway at both projects to find even more gold. First Mining is well financed, has zero debt, and owns an interest in four additional Canadian gold development projects. Yeah, and if you don't, and if you don't think that you're going to be able to pay it back, I would say go to a coin shop, get the bright, the bright, the best price that you can, and sell it. Right, shop around because if you don't think you're going to be able to pay it back, right? If you actually, you know, that tube of eagles. Uh, that you mentioned earlier, if you don't think you're in the next month or two months or six months going to be able to pay that money back, don't go to a pawn shop because you're going to get uh, a bad, bad deal. Go sell it outright, like you said, either maybe on eBay if you have to, or go to a coin shop, shop around and get the most money that you can for the metal that you have. And I, and you know, I was reading your comments from your one of your videos, Ron. This is not going to be a long video, so I mean, um, sure. I will. I would like to just read this one comment. I'm not going to say this person's name, um, but um, it, it goes on to say, Ron, don't cry tears for coin shops. They, they make plenty of profits. Check it out. They don't buy back at spot. They will buy back at 80 to 85 percent of spot. Then add the high premiums on. I will never sell back to a coin shop. Your buddy Chris does the same thing. Well, I don't know where this um, Yahoo is coming from, but um, you know, I'll say you know you, you're saying that we're ripping people off. No, you don't know me. Um, do coin shops rip people off? Some do. Most are most coin shops are honest. Yeah, they need to make a profit too. It um, you know, right now we're paying forty dollars for a Siri Eagle. We got to hold it for thirty days. We don't know what silver is going to be in 30 days. Right now, we're currently selling at 45. So if five bucks is a lot of money for a coin shop to be making, or we're buying um, junk silver at 27 times face and we're selling it for 29 times face, if two bucks, it, two bucks face is a lot of money, maybe this person should call up Walmart or CVS and ask him why they charge 85 between 50 to 85 percent profit margin on everything they sell all these corporations make a hell of a lot more money than coin shops do coin shops make probably one up to 12 percent margin depending mm -hmm. on the item so don't come on here saying all coin shops are, are going to rip people off because that's not true and that's all yeah. i gotta say Ryan. Well, now you did a you did a great job explaining that, and um, you know I know my local coin shop uh, here in St. Louis that I deal with, they publish on the web. For, you can go look at it anytime, and they'll tell you for all the different products what they'll sell it to you for and what they'll buy it back from you for, and that's called the spread. But it's very transparent. It's it's right there for you to see, and you know I, I think. What I'd also like to mention regarding this person's comment is, yeah, are there some bad coin shops out there? I'm sure. Absolutely. There's some shady characters in any industry, in any business. But the, the coin shops and the businesses that have been around for years, right, you can probably pretty much rest assured that they're not in the habit of ripping people off, right? And that doesn't mean that there aren't some really good quality uh, new players in the business as well. But, um, uh, you know, I think that it, 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 it remains the res responsibility of the individual, of the seller, to go out and shop around before they sell. Would you agree with that? You just don't go to one shop and sell. Call around. Call a couple of places because different shops are in different situations. Maybe one needs more inventory. They may pay you a dollar more per ounce than another shop that just 
bought a whole bunch of stock. Does that uh, does that make sense? The best the best way to know your best price. All honestly, yes, you call around different coin shops. If you have multiple coin shops in your area, call around. Yeah, but go go on eBay. Even if you don't buy on eBay whatever you hate ebay go to soul listings if you got a roll of silver dimes let's just use that for an example look at your soul listings look what they've sold the last 30 days that will give you an idea what the right. general market is selling for right. know, across the across the country because you know i could be in one state and i could be selling to a to a, another state across the con country that's the best way for any, if you're going to sell something, that is the best way to know what a fair price is for anything. It's what the going market is across the nation. Yeah. Yeah. Because some coin shops will be higher. Some coin shops will be lower. Some will be willing to pay more. It also depends on if the coin shop needs that specific item for inventory. If the shop needs, um, don't need several egos, they might pull their prices back a little bit. They're willing to buy it, but they may not be buying it as much as they did a week ago because someone else has brought in a thousand of them. Yep. And no, they're absolutely. trying to reduce that inventory. But absolutely. when you know, but nobody complains, really nobody complains about these re you know, you go in these stores and everybody all this inflation is going up and up and up and up. You know, I'll use the gas station analogy again. You go to work Monday morning, let's say. Gas is three fifty a gallon. You come home from work, gas is up fifteen cents, and you're saying, "Damn it, I should have bought it this morning." I mean, yeah. but they still had gas in the ground that they they still bought it for cheaper price. But this still makes nobody complains about that. Right, right. So I mean, you know, that comment this really got me the wrong way, and I thank your wife Susie for pointing that one out to me. Sounds good, Chris. As always, thank you on behalf of all the viewers. You offer some keen insights into what's going on out there, especially on the retail silver and bullion side. Um, you know, I think the lesson for everyone here is if you do need to sell, uh, you know, number one, um, you know, check with a family member and see if they'll loan you the money and you give them the ounces. If not, you know, if you if you think you're going to be able to pay the money back in a relative short amount of time, maybe go talk to a short term loan facility, also known as a pawn shop, if you have to. Uh, but if you feel like you're just you need the money and there's not a good chance that you'll be able to pay it back, shop around and and sell it to the highest bidder, whether that be a coin shop, eBay, whatever the case may be. Exactly. I mean, you know, I just want everybody to get the best price possible. Right. And you, you know, the family member, that's, you know, that's key, you know, family member, friend, that is just key, Ron. And that right. will save you some inches on the backside of it. And if, yeah. if you have a family member, I'll just say this one more point. Um, if you have a family member or friend, don't really know what silver and gold is, what the value of it, bring up eBay, show them the sold listings on that item you want to get that cash for. Take a few minutes of your time. Maybe that'll be just enough to convince them saying, well, if you don't pay me back. I'm going to put this on eBay myself and get my money back. Yep. Or, yep. or that they currency. can bring it. Excuse me. The currency. Excuse me. You're right. Currency, not money. <laughs> or that they could bring it to a coin shop and immediately exactly. get the money for it. Right. Immediately. So, Correct. Yep. Yep. All right, Chris. Thank you, buddy. We'll look forward to seeing you soon. As always, thank you. Thank you very much, Ron, for your time. All right. See you, Chris. See you. Bye-bye.